think you've come so far. Good morning, my name's Prue or Prue Larue and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a chatty get ready with me style of video with a very neutral look and then I'll probably come back for a quick wear test. I've got to do a bit of cleaning behind me as you can see I did do a fair bit yesterday but it just keeps piling up. But I just want to go outside, I just need to go to the shops quickly and then I'll be back later. So let's start and let's start with the base. So I'm going to go with the Hourglass Veil Primer. This is nice, I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth your time though. I'm quite oily but I find it's always better to go for a moisturising primer instead of this mattifying stuff that this does. Uh, because as an oily person I find the foundations can be a lot better at keeping everything in place and to be honest I'm not completely sold on primer but it's just like it feels like the thing you meant to buy so I do just in general like to leave the primer on and then I will go and do something else so I thought I'll just do eyes and I have I have a drugstore product today which is so rare for me I bought something from Revlon. So Chemist Warehouse has like half price of these, so I think this was like seven bucks or something. And it's a really nice cream shadow. If you can see it there. So I just, I swatched it and I was like, yeah, I wanna get that. So I thought, let's try two different primers on the eyes and see how they go. So Too Faced Shadow Insurance on one. Oh, where's my little mirror? I've tried to be organized today and I put all my crap out before I started this. So oh, I say that and then I cover my eye, I cover my eyelashes in primer. Go you, go pro. So I'm just trying to try and like wipe that shit off. So I bought this and apparently I think it must be new, but it's the NARS Tinted Shadow Smudge Proof Base. So I bought this after like my terrible experience with the Viseart shadows and I asked I in Mecca what they recommend for like really oily lids and they said this is the one. So I think I bought it because I was like oh yeah well I might as well try and make that stupid the eyeshadows work I do like the colours but the more I think about it the more do you really have to buy a product to make something work. But I own it now, so let's just go with it. I'm going with the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions today. And I'm just going to do, I think I'll just do a purple a mauve, a mauve look. There's no names on these shadows, so let's do the Instagram style. This one. So I find I lose my track of thought if I talk, my train of thought, if I talk while applying on a shadow. So I'm going to cut back <laughs> on my eyeshadow talk and just be able to sort of think about what I'm saying in between so I can keep, keep my brain sharp. The, and I've also been on, so going into this one in the corner, I've been looking at a lot of what the music that people use and I went on SoundCloud the other day. The app's not very good for figuring out the music to use because a lot of the Creative Commons licensing, I'm, I'm talking too much, but I think I, I think I can keep track of this. A lot of the Creative Licensing music, that stuff that you can use for free in your YouTube videos has like a description linked below and then you can't view the description on the app in SoundCloud so I'll go have a look later. And I'll see, maybe I'll start trying to find some nice music to go behind. Uh, do you have any, like, any music you would like? Or do you, do you just like the silence that I create? 
it just seems like a bit empty without music sometimes like I'm not I'm not too stressed but I think it can be nice just to have something playing so like would you prefer like chilled beats upbeat jazzy beats uh, I can't even think of anything. I'm leaning more towards chilled beats. So those are done, and then I'm just gonna go in with this one, and then I was gonna still put this like white. I'm just gonna put like a powder base down below the cream, which I don't feel is completely necessary, but it, it seems like something. It just feels like something I should do today. Let's see how this cream goes. So, this is the Revlon Color Stay Cream Shadow in Bold 805 Stardust. And I didn't actually know what this was, but look, it comes with has like its own cute little brush. How adorable! I'm not sure if it's focusing on that. It, I like I've got the face tracker on, so it likes to track my face. Anyway, it has this cute little brush in there, which I will never use. Just seems a bit gross really because if you use it then you have to clean it straight away before you put it back in or you've just got like a cream build up going on in there. I'm more just happier using my fingers. It's just like a simpler process. And I'm just going to dab this all over. I might as well. I'll bring you in for this bit. It's just hard with the focus because the camera really struggles when it's focused on my eye like this. And it doesn't really it just doesn't know what to focus on sometimes and it's frustrating for me to edit and yeah I just I really like this look like I like this cream shadow I like the effects god damn it was cheap So I've got the hourglass scattered lights and that cost me like $42 Australian. This is seven bucks. And if this works, they had like a huge range. They had like 10, I think at least, different shadows and really cool, like some pretty cool ones I, I was really impressed with. And they, I swatched them all on my hand. And of course, being a chemist, there was no cleaning swatch station available. So they were, they were on there like all day. And they lasted really well. I was really impressed. Oh, let's put the... Oh, should I do my brows? Now let's do foundation first. So I'm going to go in with that. Lancome Tint Idol Shade 023, I think. I guess I'm more just going for like a natural finish. So I haven't gone too heavy on that. Yeah, I'm going natural, I don't even know. Uh, let's do concealer. I'm sure I pulled something out for myself. Yes, I did. Look at me being all organized. The NARS Radiant Creamy and Light. So I did have a really nice sample of the new Too Faced well, I've still got it hanging around. Where is it? This one, and I've used porcelain. It's really, that was a really nice concealer, and I think I definitely will probably buy it next. But I'll just get some more use out of my NARS stuff. I was going to set under the eyes, but I can't, I'm not really, I can't be bothered to be honest. I'm feeling very tired. I need some more coffee. I went to the gym and did uh, two classes this morning. Oh, this is the Steeler. I forgot to like stay all day waterproof brow color. I need a brow combing brush. I'm 
Have I got like a giant brown? Oh, whoa. Oh my god. Wait, I just want to see if you can see. <laughs> I don't have a wire. You just see this brown hair I just pulled out, man. Can you see it? Oh, I hope you can. It's so long. I'm wondering if I've got like a solid background to show up behind. I think it's really thin. It's there. Anyway, that's. Whoa. Oh my god. I'm a bit shocked. What are we up to now? Let's put something underneath the eyes. Uh, let's just go that light. I like that. This color from before. Oh, I should use the smaller brush. Fuck. Did that to myself. Just going a little bit of the darker one, just to fill in that, like that patchy bit. And then I have pulled out my the Kat Von D Thunderstruck shadow. I just kind of like I really I like the effect of this one. I'd love to know if you know of like another shadow that's quite similar to this. I uh, don't know why I used that brush. That's a stupid brush. This is like a weird thing. It's like a hard... I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just going to pack up a few things. I, I, I get really stressed out when there's too many things in front of me. Uh, it, like, yeah, I just, I get, they need, they need to go back in their house. So I'm going to see, I've just actually reorganized some of my makeup collection. It's not too exciting. If you have seen my vanity tour, I've just reorganized the box things that I put most things in. And I bought like another one because I was buying extra shit. So I've got like another four one. And then I've also made these cute little labels. Because I bought a label maker. So this is like my singles drawer and this is where all my singles eyeshadows are now living. Except the paper is like really scratchy so the label doesn't want to stick to it. Which is a little annoying. I'm choosing to ignore that. Sorry, I'm just going to chitter chat while I pack some crap, pack some of this away. I was going to put, no, I might also put this on. I've got the highbrow benefit pencil thing. I do like this and it came out, I think I'm sure I got it in one of the Christmas uh, packs from last year that went on sale. But it's, it's like the perfect lazy girl brow highlighter. We're nearly there. Nearly, nearly. I'm nearly ready to return. I was going to... Let's just do lips quickly because I feel like it's a MAC lip pencil in cultured... Oh, God damn it needs a sharpen. My sharpener needs like a new home. Uh, if you have a sharpener, where do you keep it? It's sharpened. So I've got this hourglass peacemaker, and this is from one of my beauty loot boxes. My lighting's a bit fucked, isn't it? Is that better for you, my loves? Now let's go in with some powder. I'm just going to shove, cover my face in these two shades from Hourglass. Oh god, and I washed my brushes yesterday. This one's not dry. But it, it's already happened. I already put it on my face, so I feel like I don't have much choice now. 
I can never start. I've got the Hourglass Luminous Flush blush. Beautiful. Oh, I might pull out my color swatchy. I got a color swatch. I think I'm I'm feeling like a fan brush day today. Oh, I got a hair on me somehow. Gone. Cool. So I've got this Tarte Pro Glow that I got in the last uh what do they call it? Fab Fit bon Fun Box. And I just thought I'd use it to be honest. So let's use the color shade from uh no sculpt. And let's see if I can do some sculpting. Just some gentle. We don't need anything too we don't need anything too much today. Oh uh, there's no bronzer in here. There is a highlighter though. I put the colors no color swatch. I'm just gonna apply this. So I'm going to put Stunner on. I did have this in a single. I've just given that away to a, one of my friends because I didn't, I don't need two of them. And voila. Oh, I do like the smell of this. Tarte shadows, like they smell nice. Eh? If you've tried them. Um, I feel like a little bit of bronzing is required. Where is my bronzer drawer? I'm just gonna go on with the butter bronzer. Smelling better. Mm. Not really, to be honest. I keep thinking it's got like a bloody mirror. No, why would it be convenient? Bronzed, blushed, mascara, we should spray first, shouldn't we? So, um, what am I feeling like spraying my face with today? <sighs> Where's the slick gone? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Fix shit. I bought this in haven't really used it but it had pretty solid reviews so it seems like a win mm. I think I'm nearly finished so <clears throat> I'm just gonna do mascara which requires no talking but I really like thank you so much for bearing with me with the last bit of my content, I had a really shitty day last week and I, I just let it affect everything. So it's sort of been leaking through my whole life it feels like. Which is my fault. But I'm feeling a lot better today and a lot more motivated. Uh, we're going to visit, it's my mom's birthday on Thursday the 27th of September and we're going to go visit her in Townsville from Friday to Monday so I am going to try and get some stuff filmed today but I work tomorrow and Thursday so Wednesday and Thursday we fly out Friday morning at 8 a.m. and I do 12 hour shifts. I am working on a stealer wear test and like essentially like three looks one palette thing so I'll try and get that up but I am also looking at potentially getting a new computer. I have an OG iMac, uh, the late 2015 model, 21.5 inch. And it just, it doesn't handle editing, Lightroom and all that sort of stuff very well. So I'm thinking of getting the latest Mac. Much to my boyfriend's disappointment, he's a big PC user. But I just feel like getting the iMac makes a bit more sense because I've been such a like I'm an iPhone iMac user and I don't feel like I really want to give Premiere Pro like Adobe Premiere Pro a whirl. I know there's a few other editing programs but you, you know you end up having to pay for it. iMac it comes with iMovie included. I think where I'm at the moment I'm happy 
to stick with iMovie and then potentially move to a PC. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts on the Mac PC whole shebang. Like I just, I'd love to know what you think. So, did I finish my face? I think I have. Oh, I do love these shadows. Look how nice is that? Bloody hell. So I guess I might start delving more into the drugstore aisle of the makeup. I think I'm gonna go pick up some more of this. Cream shadow business. Wow, my brows are intense, aren't they? Anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here and hanging around. Uh, let me know what you think uh, about music. What kind of music would you like? Chilled melodies, uh, jazz, upbeat beats, like while I do my eyeshadow and like makeup stuff. Do you like seeing the whole process? Should I not edit out much of it at all and leave it in? Um, what is your preference? I'd love, I'd absolutely love to know what you think you would like to watch. So we're about four or five hours into this wear test and I thought we'll just have a look and see because I'm about to clean it off and change for the day. I might go do some editing really. So this is, I mean it's the Uta Beauty shadows which like hold up right quite nicely. But this cream shadow is really good. For like 15 bucks, hells yeah. So it was so good and Chemist Warehouse which is like our local one has 50% off these products at the moment. So I bought another one. So let's do mini haul. So I've got, oh my. So these ones are my hand. I swatched them actually at the chemist and this is probably about an hour ago. They are all dried down and holding well. This is a lipstick, so just ignore that. But these feel really comfortable. So I bought a cool blue. I don't know how to get the stupid sticker off. If, if you know, let me know. So this is in the color Green Glimmer and Sparkle. I have no idea. I thought it was called Topaz or something. Anyway, the glitter, like the brush looks like a fail. Let's just... Um, and it doesn't really apply well or anything like that. I'm not... Let's just see if I can sort of show you. Um, but it feels quite stiff and just, I mean, I'm sure you, you could do quite a good, you could have fun with it. For the price, I'm not mad at it. This is the winner though, the other side. And it's the same, very similar brush to the Stila one. But check that out, man. Look at that blue. I really like it. Actually, I just need to compare. So these have three mils of product in them. Oh, I've gotten rid of all the boxes for the stillers. Uh, 4.5 mils. Uh, but, so the stiller glitters and glows have 4.5 mils in them. Three mils, half price. And that kind of color. Hells yeah, this is where I'd start. And I mean, if the Stiller and Glows, if they've got some nice shades that you feel are revolutionary, go get them. But yeah, I'm really impressed. So another Revlon Photo Ready Art, and I've got Peach Prism, which looks like this. Uh, so the glitter. Uh, once again, this, this weird brush business. Should I go? I'm just going to go next to the lip. So, that's a really pretty glitter. The brush is quite big though. So it's not, I wouldn't say you would get a precise application from that. You definitely dip into it with a smaller brush. And, I'm going in with this one. Look at that. That's just really nice. So this is a nice sort of everyday color. And then of course I've got something a bit crazy. I just, I was super impressed with the price and yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how they wear. I'm really impressed with them. What do I have? I've got the Revlon Stardust on at the moment. I'm really impressed with this. And then I've also picked up 
uh, 745. It did have a name, I'm sure. Um, it was called Cherry Blossom. It has a really nice, like, pink. I'm just super into pinks, really. I'm just going to build this up a little bit. But you can just see it. It should be like this line here. So not super bold, but like that's a really pretty. Sorry. I'm just like. For the, the formula is so lightweight. Yeah, that's like giving you a better view. Um, it really doesn't feel like there's anything dry on my face. And I think it could last like a lot of the day. Uh, this is some of the first drugstore. <laughs> this is some of the first drugstore products to come into my collection. This feels momentous. I'm glad I can share this moment with you, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, anyway, I will see you later. So, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you decide to stick around, subscribe, check out my videos, and let me know what your thoughts are on anything.